Brent Tech here, where Tech is made simple. So your IP address, as many of you may know, is used to identify your device, allowing information to be sent between devices on a network and while you are online. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did post a video on how to easily find your IP address on Windows using command prompt and a IP config command. Now, I will leave a link in the description to that previous video if that would be of interest. But basically, just to do a follow up to that video. And in today's video, we're going to have a quick look at how you can once again use command prompt and some IP config commands to try and fix a broken internet connection. Now, as many of you may know, over and above the fact that your ISP, your internet service provider, may be down, um, there are a couple of other um, reasons why you um, may um, not have an internet connection. And you may have um, tried a couple of methods to try and resolve the issue. Like, as uh, just to mention a couple of simple examples, you may have restarted your device, uh, you may have restarted your router, you may have disabled um, and enabled your Wi-Fi adapter, just to mention a couple, a couple of simple examples to try and restore connectivity to your network. And I have found if you have tried a couple of solutions and you are still not be able to connect, then a lot of the time um, running these IP config commands using command prompt can help in a lot of um, the cases and a lot of the time. Now, um, to get to command prompt, as always, um, on both Windows 10 and 11, I would just say go to your search, type in command, and um, on the command prompt entry, just right click and run that as administrator. So just take note, you need to run it as admin. Now, yeah, you will see the prompt. And what I've done is I've created this um, text document, which I will leave a link to in the description. So you can come and copy and paste these commands for easy access and reference. So at the prompt, what you do at that prompt in command prompt, you enter the first command, which is rpconfig space forward slash flush DNS. DNS. What's that? What that is going to do, it's going to flush the actual DNS. And then you hit enter and then let it run. And then when that's finished at the next prompt, you enter rpconfig space forward slash register DNS. That's going to register the DNS. And then you hit enter. And then at the next prompt, you enter rpconfig space forward slash release. That's going to release the RP. And you hit enter and then let it run. And at the next prompt, uh, you enter rpconfig space forward, forward slash renew. That's going to renew your RP address. And then you close command prompt, restart your PC. And, um, and, in, in, and in a lot, of, a lot of the cases, as I have mentioned, um, this can um, resolve a broken internet connection if you have tried other methods and those are failing. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.